It is a memorable activity that the one of the Filipino heroes who also fought and furiously against the foreign invaders was Capitan Francisco Nicoy Flordelis, who refused the tempting allurement of the American forces who have already established their government here in our own, very own soil and here in Illinois. Americans exhausted their friendly solutions just to convince Captain Nicoy to surrender, but the latter remained firm in his convictions for the sake of his fellow men's welfare. It is important to recall that Captain Nicoy had four children. And they are Asita, Vicente, Floro, and Concepcion. Concepcion, as fondly called Conchin, I call her Lola Conchin, others call her Senora Conchin. Concepcion had four children. One of them is named Dolores, or commonly family called in life. Of the eight children of Dolores, I am the seventh child of Dolores. That is why I am one of the grandchildren or one of the granddaughter of Francisco Picoli Flores. This may answer your query, why? In your program or in your invitation, my name there is labeled as a great-granddaughter of Capitan Pico e. Flores. Another daughter of Concepcion is named Purificacion and is family called Purim. I call her Cha Purim. Jacqueline had also many children. And one of them is Mananate Go Olo. May I request Mananate to please stand to be recognized? Thank you, Mananate. If I am one of the grandchildren of Capitan Kikoy, Mananate also one of our grandchildren of Capitan Tico and indirect descendants of Capitan Tico. Uh, another daughter of Capitan Tico is named Pasita. Pasita is also called Pas Pai. I called Pasita Lola Pai. Some also called her Senior Mapai. And Senior Mapai also had many children. One of them is named Teresa. Teresa is finally called Indai. I call Indai Chaindai. Chaindai has also many children. One of them is our former counselor, Boyong, will you please stand? I am his I am him. Okay. They are also granddaughters and grandsons of, and as well as their siblings, grandchildren of. Capitan uh, Francisco Ikoy Flores. Also, a lot of thanks to the former mayor Albert Villanueva, who initiated the realization of our goals to know our very own local hero, Capitan Ikoy Flores, to be continued by his younger brother, Honorable Manuel Villanueva. And to this, thanks a lot again. It should not be forgotten that the life history of Capitan Nicoy Flordelis was wholeheartedly written by the late Mr. Conrado Luis, who 
reveal that the heroism of Captain Kikoy because through his write ups we know who was who was Lordy Beast. Sir Ruiz served as the Pandora's box. At this point, we had all from Dr. Nena Ruiz. Dr. Nena Ruiz, the lady is still Voila. Okay. Dr. Nena Ruiz, the lady is, is one of the daughters of uh, Miss the late Mr. Conrad Wilson, who is the author or the ones who made write-ups on the life of Captain Hickory Flores. When, in fact, there is a magazine, there is a magazine, the name is Bisaya, dated February 3, 1965, where the write-ups of Mr. Conrad Lewis is published. And the title is Captain Flor Lewis Ang Hinikalimnang Bayani Salente. Towards the end of his writings, Mr. Lewis expressed his request for the heads or leaders of our town to open up the life of Capitan people. Again, he recommend to the proper office or organization like the Philippines, Kapunungan, like the Filipino, Kapunungan, sa Kasaysayan. And this is the Philippine Historical Society. Or other agencies to prepare some recognition and any words and events that Capitan Ikoy, a son and pride of the whole lady, to be remembered and loved by the Filipinos. With this uh, request of Capitan, uh, Mr. Lewis, our municipal officials has done a lot. Creating and making this uh, ordinance declaring Capitan Nicoy as our local hero is already a very great accomplishment. If only my parents, Mr. Conrado Luis, are alive today, they would be very uh, happy and proud of your accomplishment. Based on Mr. Lewis' write-up, Captain Pico's bravery was manifested in the fierce battles that he won against the colonizers and abusive invasor, invaders. His patriotic and national, nationalistic character traits and uncompromising commitment to the public service is indeed worthy of praise, which cost his life, which cost him to suffer and sacrifice his life that ended in tragedy for the sake of Hiromos and its people. Furthermore, he was well informed of national issues, especially the abuses of the colonizers that led him to officially take his oath of allegiance as a member of the KKK. He had a blood compact with Andres Bonifacio, the KKK head. This is done in Manila in the presence of the KKK members to fight against the colonizers, to defend and protect our country, land and people, and not to surrender to the oppressors and enemies of the state. Capitan Bigoy possessed the qualities of a good and strong leader that endeared him to his followers who showed unwavering support to his activities. He also gained support of the citizens of nearby towns from Bay Bay Lake up to Macron Southern Lady. He led the town folks in the fearsome armed battles against their oppressors. Many people
Bibir Dan kami nang ikoy Hand and amulet Amulet or anting-anting Because He always won In his fierce battles against the cruel colonizers But a priest said That he had no anting-anting But because of his unwavering faith in God Almighty As he always kneeled down And prayed for spiritual guidance And divine intervention to defeat his enemies that eventually won them on all their armed encounters, wiping all their enemies. During the Filipino-American War, where the town of Higomos was attacked, Captain Tinkoy did not surrender to the American forces. He escaped and established his stronghold in the city called Bota. This is located in Santa Margarita, now called San Marita. It was due to the betrayal of his close aid that American soldiers were able to trace and follow him. Unfortunately, one time while he was riding in his horse, on his way to town to check on the people, he was gunned down, tortured, and killed at the combine. But up to his last breath, he still struggled and fought back. His men were also killed. His dead body was dragged down by a horse to the town of Hidonos and was believed to be buried near the church. But until now, nobody knows where his body lies. The inhabitants silently breathed in, her, in fear over the death of their beloved leader, Capitan Pinkoy. Before his tragic death, on December 29, 1901, which is 121 years ago today, his life mostly devoted to public service, having been educated in the University of San Carlos in Cebu City. He healed various positions in the, in the municipality of Hilomos. He was a governor Celio, which is equivalent to a municipal mayor. He was also a judge and also an alferes or head of the police or guardia civil under the title of commander or capitan. Hence, he was called Capitan Kiko. He was instrumental in successfully mediating the two warring factions in a city somewhere in Matamon, Southern Lady, that it was named after him, hence the name Barangay Florinis, and it has retained his name until now. One of his greatest contributions was the layout of the road map and established the road network of Hilomos which still exists until today. This road map showed the streets, the location of the town hall, the town plaza, the marketplace, school sites before both elementary and high school, and municipal cemetery. I would like to inform everyone that the residence of Capitan Nicoy Florida is indeed this place where video building is erected and includes our residences at the back of the building. Since our mother, Ted Dolores Flores Luis Miguel, has fortunately inhibited this place. In the corner, there is this Patrice Bezia. Ah, you can see the remnants of the of Capitan Nicoy residence is the stone which comprised his stairs and one of the post of his house which was completely burned down by the American soldiers. This street was named as Lord Louis Street in his honor and across this street is owned by our former councillor Goyo and he also inherited the place from his mother Teresa. On the lighter side, to mention a few of other qualities, aside from being 
a brave and a brave warrior and a strong leader, he was a lover of arts and culture. This kid with baritone voice, he started the culture of serenade locally, known as Harana, for the ladies during moonlight nights. He had written Soarzuelas, Moro Moro, stage plays, and engaged and organized stages drama presentation here during occasion for during fiestas, religious activities, and so forth. He was known for his poetry not only in Thomas but also in Cebu City, where he was he always take part in drama presentation written by Balantas and Shakespeare. He was also engaged in painting where his subjects are mostly in nature such as heaven. As head of the town, he headed the construction of a botanical garden where many fragrant flowers were planted. With regards to music, he knew how to play violin, bandoria, guitar, mandolin, banjo, and organ. He was also fan of classical music and made way to the formation of an orchestra or band. It was said that the orchestra will, will, will perform every Sunday afternoon at the garden where the group headed by Capitan Nicolo Kiko will play Filipino songs, alternating it with songs composed by the renowned musicians like Beethoven, Mozart, and Chopin. The orchestra was known far and wide, and even people from Maasin Southern Native would ride their Karuahi just to hear them play on Sunday afternoon at the Botanical Garden in Hilomos. Worth it to know that one of the orchestra members is Roman Huibit, the grandfather of Napile Lupina. Napiling Lupina is one of your employees here in your MTU. Being brought up and raised by a devoted Catholic family and educated in a Catholic school, Capitan Tikoy was a religious man. It was reported that Capitan Tikoy bought most of the carrots. The religious statues in Hilomas that which are being used in the processions during our Holy Tuesday and Good Friday. Said carols were distributed to his relatives and to some prominent landed families in Hilomas. One such statue is the Dolorosa and are taken care of by the family of the late Concepcion Flores. To end my speech, I may say that life that made the life of Capitan Tinkoy is a shining example of public service to be emulated by all, not only by the people of Hilomos, but to the entire country as a whole. And that is all. Thank you very much for